Uh, hi, uh, this is Jack. Uh, today I'm going to share with you how uh, FBA inspection uh, is done uh, by a forwarder uh, in China. Uh, last time we talked about uh, why it is better to let your forwarder uh, to do the FBA inspection, uh, especially for the small and the medium sized shipments. So today we are going to see how the inspection uh, is actually done in China by your forwarder. Uh, so typically, it's your supplier and they send your products to your forwarder. Uh, then your forwarder receives them and then they inspect the products in their warehouse. Uh, the first step would be to look, uh, to check the conditions of the shipping box and uh, to see if it's damaged or it's crushed or it's broken. And then and uh, to check the shipping labels uh, to see if they are still working and uh, to check if they are correct. Uh, after checking uh, the, box, uh, the box condition and the shipping labels, and uh, they will open up uh, the box uh, to see uh, if the products are packed properly and if there are extra spaces and uh, if there are, uh, are they uh, filled properly. Uh, so after these two steps, and they will take out the products so the first step to is to check the products package and they will need to check the labels uh, to see if the labels are uh, working and then to see if the labels are correct after this and they will need they will open the product package then to inspect the products and uh, finally they need to pack everything back uh, in a way uh, that the final user uh, won't won't realize that this product was used uh, by someone else. Uh, in the end, uh, so they will send you a inspection report. Uh, so here I have a, a few reports. So let's see what's on the report. Uh, so this is an ins inspection report. Uh, it's an Excel file that consists of uh, three sheets. Uh, the current one is an overview, inspection overview. Uh, the second sheet is the cartons. And the third sheet is for the products. So let's start from the first one. Uh, the first overview, it tells you and, uh, how many products are inspected and uh, how many boxes are inspected. Here it lists all the problems. And then it's the problem description. And then it's, how many, it's the quantity, the problem quantity. And this is a 40 rich. And here it has the problem pictures. And then here it has a, uh, the cost analysis, fixed solution and the suggestions for the future. And uh, here, and then the next one, uh, let me see, sorry, let's just go here. Then is here is the problem uh, to fi uh, fix cost. So how much does it cost to fix the problems? And then it's a status. Is it fixed or it is not fixed? Uh, let's look at one problem. So the, like, the first problem is the FNSQU barcode not scannable. So this is a, a serious problem and it, out of 300, and we have 260, which is like 87%. Uh, when you look at the picture, you can see uh, it's really the, the printing quality is very bad. And uh, it just cannot be easily scan, scan out. It just cannot be scanned out. And for the fixed solution, and uh, we will need to reprint high quality uh, labels to cover the old ones. Uh, so the cost for this is $75 uh, for the 30, 30 boxes. I think the total is like uh, 300 products. And this stator is fixed. And an another problem is uh, some on some boxes, some products, they don't have uh, the FNSQU label. So that's the, like the 40 products. There are 40 products and they, they just don't have it. When you look at the picture, and uh, they just don't have the uh, FNSQU label. So we also need to add FNSQU label. So fix these two, uh, problems the total is 75 dollars of course uh, there are some problems it uh, may not be fixed uh, uh, for example uh, the problem uh, number seven uh, it here it says one box has eight products and uh, another box has uh, 12 products uh, this is not the same as the other cartons which means all the other boxes they have 10 products but these two boxes, one has eight and another has 12. Uh, so here it, it has the picture. You can see the, this the product box uh, is different 
uh, than the, the rest of the product box. So I think it happens in the factory that they used, uh, they don't have enough boxes like this. So in the end, they just pick another two types, different box type and to pack the product products in. Uh, because this is, uh, uh, this is uh, the number, the quantity of the products inside of this carton uh, will, will not match. It does not match, does not match the quantity on FBA labels. Uh, this is a pretty bad mistake. Uh, so this uh, for this uh, problem, and we repack and we use uh, uh, the, this uh, box, uh, this box to repack. So to keep all the uh, uh, the quantity per carton, it's all ten, all ten products per per carton instead of one carton is eight and another carton is twelve. Uh, this is because uh, you see the cost here is zero. Uh, this is because only two boxes has this problem, so we we fix it for uh, for free. Uh, there are also some problems, like for example, the, this one and the the ends does not join to securely. So here, uh, you, uh, yes, and actually in this report we have uh, both Chinese and English. So for this uh, Chinese, Chinese, so the Chinese supplier, the factory, they can also read this report. Uh, so this problem, and it's, it also has a very high uh, rate, 40 rate, and we, ha we had a video here uh, to, to show the problem, uh, but it's too late to fix this problem. Uh, also because this problem, it does not affect the final usage, so we leave it as it is, but we su suggest uh, in the future, uh, the factory should improve this. Okay, so you can see here, it's zero, cost is zero, and this problem is not fixed. Uh, so this is the uh, overview. An uh, overview to uh, to see all this uh, this shipment. Uh, the most important information are on this sheet. Uh, so the second sheets are for the cartons, like the cartons uh, condition. Uh, because you can see here, because some of the cartons are already uh, crashed. This is because of their uh, like see, like see this. There are extra space uh, inside the the carton. Uh, this is the carton, the shipping labels, and here it shows the dimensions of the cartons. So you, you know exactly so what's the dimension uh, for your products, uh, for your boxes. And uh, here is the weight, uh, the kilos, the kilos of your products, uh, the boxes. So the last sheet is the products, uh, the products package, uh, the labels, and the product, how they are packed. And then there are some like thank you cards, there are some components. Uh, we see the details of the product. So in the end, is this is inspected products. Let's see uh, how many cartons uh, we, we, we inspect it. All right. So I think basically that's all. Uh, that's all for for the inspection report. All right. And I hope you now you have an idea uh, of how the inspection uh, is done uh, by the forwarder. Actually, it's by us. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can ask us or you can leave a comments uh, below. Uh, we will reply you soon. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe us and I hope to see you soon.